it's a common um, misunderstanding actually. Polycystic ovaries, so just having ovaries that look polycystic, is actually very common and probably is not an abnormality. It actually affects about 22-23% of women who've got no symptoms whatsoever. So it's very difficult to think of, of having polycystic ovaries as being a pathology when it's as common as that. I think the best analogy between having polycystic ovaries, um, uh, or the difference between having polycystic ovaries and polycystic ovary syndrome is actually a little bit like eye colour. Eye colour is also genetic, probably also due to the inheritance of more than one gene. And if you have blue eyes, you're more likely to wear glasses, whereas not everyone who wears glasses has blue eyes, and not everyone who has blue eyes wears glasses. So not every woman who's got polycystic ovaries has polycystic ovary syndrome. So some women will be completely normal, i.e. they will report no symptoms whatsoever, um, and if you just happen to do an ultrasound scan, you will find that their ovaries are polycystic. Now, what does it actually mean to have a polycystic ovary? A polycystic ovary is an ovary that contains an increased number of eggs at all stages of development. So that's right from the, the, the resting um, follicle pool, i.e. the pool of eggs that a woman is born with, including and up to those eggs that are at a growing stage. And it's the eggs when they're at a growing stage that you can actually see on ultrasound scan because they're encased in like a little tiny fluid-filled sac. And you can see that fluid-filled sac. It's called a follicle. You can see it on an ultrasound scan. So women who have polycystic ovary syndrome have polycystic ovarian morphology plus one or two of a, of a particular number of symptoms.